not a game, it's a lifestyle. The Jordan 11 is probably the most recognizable basketball sneaker in the world. So let's take a look at a little bit about the background. The designer, Tinker Hatfield, at that time, Michael Jordan was retired. And he still designed the shoe just in case Air Jordan was gonna come back, and which he did. After that, the shoe was released and it was, became legendary. People were like lining up on the streets, waiting to buy this shoe. So let's take a look at the design behind this shoe. So let's start from the bottom. As you can see on both of these shoes, the gum is actually see-through and behind it, there's actually a carbon shank plate. Now this is the very first Air Jordan to actually use a carbon shank plate. Before that, they used plastic. And why they used carbon was back then, Tinker Hatfield checked out replays of Jordan using his previous shoes. And let me show you for a second here an old Jordan 1 right here, you can see without a carbon shank plate, a shoe is very easy to bendable right here and it's not very supportive. So they checked out football videos which actually use these kind of plates and they decided to put it into this Jordan. And as you can see right here, once you have it in there, it's really hard to do. So when they put it in, there was like a really breakthrough for basketball shoes at that time. The most interesting fact about this shoe was it was the very first Air Jordan to be featured in a movie that Michael Jordan played in. It was called Space Jam. And once it was released, it was sold out everywhere. It was super popular. All the kids wanted it. It became an instant classic. Other special design features of this shoe is of course, the patent leather, which is really shiny. Right here, as you can see. And one of the main features of that is when you twist and change directions when you're wearing it, the shape of the patent leather will still stay like that. Another part of it is, as you can see from this bread, is the nylon upper, which is a very tough material, but it's also very elastic. That's what they liked about it. And then the lacing system was at that time kind of very special where you put it, when you put it in your foot, you can just pull it on the top and it should, it should just tighten up and then you just have to lace up, that's all. Of course, an Air Jordan can't be an Air Jordan if it doesn't have air in it, right? So inside the midsole, there's like a full length airbag. And interestingly enough, this is the very last year that Air Jordan used the airbags. After that, they used the Zoom Air. When you actually wear this shoe, you can hear like the squeaky air inside it. Of course, if you actually own a pair of Air Jordan 11s and you actually wear them, it's gonna get dirty. So right now, I'm gonna talk about how to clean these dirty Air Jordan 11s. I have a soft brush right here, hard brush, cleaning solution, a shoe protector spray, and a bowl with some water in it. So first, I take the soft brush, dip it in the water a little bit, get some solution, spray a little bit on, then I start brushing. Now, with the soft brush, I can actually start rubbing on the textile on the top, right? Because it's softer. Once I get to the midsole, I can use the hard brush to get into those really dirty parts. Once I get a nice little lather, that means like the solution is working right here. So once I get it lather here, I just get a little cloth, start wiping it down, and wait for it to dry. But let me get onto the, the midsole here, which is quite dirty. Get a little bit of water. Again, solution. And I start digging, oh, it smokes. There we go. As you can see, it starts to foam right away because it's the hard brush. And right away, I can see the midsole is getting clean right quickly. Okay, really foamy. Again, get the cloth, start, start wiping it down a bit right here. 
And as you can see, it hasn't even dried yet, but side by side comparison looks much cleaner already. Maybe if it gets, if it's still too dirty, you can do the process again. So the last part of cleaning the shoe is once it's dried, I put a healthy dose of this shoe protector on. It uh, keeps the shoe clean from the dirt and it's kind of waterproof. First, I just take the shoe protector and then stand a little bit away and then give it a good spray. Get nice and good. Wait for it to dry. Nowadays, people who buy the Air Jordan 11 aren't gonna buy it to play basketball. They buy it because they want to be fashionable. But what kind of pants or shorts should be paired with the Air Jordan 11? Well, first off, I think the jogger pants looks pretty good. Or you can try casual jeans. Of course, these are basketball shoes and they're always gonna look good on basketball shorts. There are many variations on how to wear the Jordan 11s right here and many variations on the models such as the low. And most recently, the Jordan Future over here. So if you guys wanna get a hold of a pair of Jordan 11s, recently it's gonna be released in December with the Jordan 7210. Now, if you guys enjoy my show, please subscribe to us and check me out next time and find out what sneaker I have. Finally. Damn, no, no. Did you say again? <laughs>